Hola amigos, pero que eh, saludos, otro es desde Medellín, hoy yo vuelve a la tema de ayer, un poquito más con este tema que como expresar, estoy pensando en algo, en este tema, cómo yo puedo expresar esta, porque hay muchas, muchas diferentes formas para decir casi la misma cosa. So, este es el tema de hoy, para demostrar la flexibilidad con la lengua. Ok, so, hello again. Here we are once more in Medellín. Um, and today I'm going to carry on where I left off yesterday, thinking about what to say, or rather showing you different ways that we can say that, different ways we can express the fact that uh, we're thinking about a thing, in this case, the topic of the video. Um, so if you notice, we've pretty much, we've got about eight or ten different ways to say this, and most of them start with, I was thinking, because we're talking about something that happened in the recent past, and that was the action we were doing, was thinking, so I was thinking, but there are lots of other ways we can end that sentence, even though we're still talking about, each time we're going to be talking about the same thing, there are lots of different ways you can say it, depending on the other words you add into the sentence. So this is really to show you just how flexible English is as a language, and also to show you that when you're listening to conversations, there are some key words to listen for clearly. So it's like, who was doing the action, I was. Was shows you that it happened in the past and what the action was, so thinking. So we know who, we know when, and we know what was the action. These are the key things we're listening for. The rest of it, the rest of the sentences I'm going to show you, um, this brings a bit more context into it. So it's like, okay, what's the thing we were thinking about? What's the other thing? We, we, what was the other uh, part of the action? But really, the first first part, the very important bit, is who, when, and what. Who, when, and what? We need to know that. Yeah. Okay. So um, also in the in this uh, selection of sentences, you notice I'm going to be using variously the topic, the subject, the theme, or the idea. Now these four words pretty much mean the same thing, so it's the thing we're talking about. It's like an abstract thing we're talking about, so it's the topic, the subject of the sentence or the subject of the conversation, the theme of the conversation, or the idea that we're talking about. So really we can use any of those four words almost interchangeably, as you'll see through these sentences here. Yeah? So remember, when we're looking at this, it's just to show you just how flexible the language really is um, to come across with basically every time what we're looking at is thinking about what to say in the video today. So really, the topic is thinking about what to say in the video today. So let's look at some ways we can say this, yeah? So I was thinking... So we know who, we know when, we know what. I was thinking, should I, now we know it's a question, should I change the topic today? Should I? Should I change the topic today? So I'm asking your opinion. Now you've got a question. Should I? I'm asking your opinion. Should I change the topic today? I was thinking about the subject of today's video. I was thinking about the subject of today's video. Now that might just be a straight statement because that's what I was thinking about, but what you might get if you're listening for this, listen to general conversation, this might be followed pretty well with should I change the subject of the video today? So you might get a question following that because I was thinking about the subject of today's video, so I'll be listening next for a bit more development on about because that shows that the person's thinking possibly different options maybe they want to discuss it further they want your opinion yeah 
I was thinking of changing the theme of the video today. It's very similar to thinking about. Thinking about something, thinking of something. So again, this might follow with what do you think? They might be asking your opinion, so you should listen in case that's something they're going to follow on in the second part of the sentence. Yeah? So I was thinking of changing the theme of the video today. How about this one? I was thinking how, como. I was thinking how I could improve the video today. Yeah? I was thinking how I could improve the video today, or how could I improve the video today? Yeah, I suppose I have a question. Thinking how. I was thinking, what would be, so now we're into the future's hypothetical, what would be a good topic for today? What would be a good topic for today? So we know that's going to be a question. What would be hypothetical? What's the question? What would be a good topic for today? I was thinking, if I said something about thinking what would you think so i was thinking if i said now i've gone with that ending something about thinking but really once we said if i said we know we've got a suggestion the next part of that sentence is going to be basically rather like uh, here i was thinking about I was thinking if I said it's hypothetical, the next part of the sentence is something that they're looking for your, the speaker's looking for your opinion on. If I said something about thinking, what would you think? So they're looking for you to follow that with your opinion. Yeah. And this one here, do you think? So straight away they've told you they're looking for your opinion. Do you think it would be better if about mejor si. Do you think it would be better if I change the topic? There we go. Again, we're looking for an opinion. Do you think? How about this one? I was thinking to talk about how I chose the theme for today. I was thinking to talk about how I chose the theme for today. Now again, this one I was thinking to talk about, again, it's not like I'm going to talk about, which means I've decided. I say something like that, I'm going to talk about this topic today, I've decided. If I say I was thinking to talk about, it means I'm still debating it, I haven't decided, so I'm looking possibly for an opinion, or I'm looking for you to confirm my decision. So no, that's great, do that. Yeah. So that's a slight difference to listen for when I say I was thinking about. If I had said I am going to, then I've made the decision. When I'm saying I'm thinking about, it means it's, I haven't quite decided. Perhaps I'm looking for more feedback from you as my listener to, you know, should I do that? Yeah. So I was thinking to talk about how I chose the theme for today. And this one's a little bit different. I was going to say, now this again shows that the speaker has maybe changed their mind. So there was something they were gonna do that maybe they didn't do or they haven't done yet. So I was going to say, I liked your idea for today's video. I was going to say, I liked your idea for today's video. So there we go. Different ways of saying basically the same thing. So we're still talking about the topic or the theme or the subject of today's video. And we know because the speaker is saying, I was thinking, it's not completely certain because they're still thinking about it. It's not necessarily a decision that's completely closed. It's open to suggestion. It's open to an opinion, to share an opinion about it. So I was thinking, and then we know the topic of the video today. And these are different ways we can say it. We can be thinking about, we can be thinking of, we can be thinking how. 
thinking what what would hypothetically what would be yeah um, thinking if so if this happened what would follow we can ask a direct opinion really do you think yeah or this one I was thinking to do something else yeah okay so that's it for today that's just to show you different ways that we use very subtly different additional words and phrases to slightly change the the sense or the expression of the sentence what we're trying to think about what we're trying to express but really in each case we're still talking about the same topic that hasn't really changed all of these sentences are telling you that the speaker is thinking debating looking for an opinion about the topic of the video so they're all, in, they're all heading for the same uh, end point you know like what's the topic we should do but these are different ways of saying the same thing so have a think about that maybe when you're looking at uh, preparing some of your dialogues um, you know that we're trying to practice to help us um, with our fluency in particular situations think about if you take your standard sentence the beginning of the sentence what you want to do so I want to do this if you add a different one of these type of words to it would that change um, completely the meaning of the sentence or would it just give you a slightly different way of expressing the same thing that's the challenge for now okay I hope that was useful Dejame saber los comentarios um, until next time Cheerio for now.